be seated for some reminders. During the celebration of the Mass, we are all requested to wear our face masks and face shields properly at all times, to observe proper physical distancing from one another, and to sanitize as often as needed. Holy Communion will be done by rows. To observe the proper flow, please follow the ushers or the directional signs. In exiting the shrine, same will be done by rows, and please use the main door. Greetings in Christ. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration, brothers and sisters, who join us in worship here at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King Mission Seminary. Today is Ash Wednesday. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Benigno Beltran, SVD, Associate Priest of the Shrine. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may begin with holy fasting, this campaign of Christian service, so that as we take up battle, against spiritual evils, we may be armed with weapons of self-restraint to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Joel. Even now, says the Lord, Return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord your God. For gracious and merciful is he, slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment. Perhaps he will again relent and leave be him a blessing offerings and libations for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, proclaim a fast, call an assembly, gather the people, notify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and the infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom quit his room and the bride her chamber. Between the porch and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep and say, Spare, O Lord, your people, and make not your heritage a reproach with the nations ruling over them. Why should they say among the people, Where is their God? 
Then the Lord was steered to concern for his land and took pity on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. goodness in the greatness of your compassion wipe out my offense thoroughly wash me from my guilt and of my sin cleanse me be merciful Acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful. heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have seen back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustain in me O Lord open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you in behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake he made him to be sin, who did not know sin, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Working together then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, 
In an acceptable time I heard you, and on the day of salvation I helped you. Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is a day of salvation. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Your words, O Lord, are spirit and life. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, <clears throat> O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your almsgiving may be secret, and your Father, who sees in secret, will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in synagogues and on street corners so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received the reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret. And your Father, who sees in secret, will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received the reward. But you know you fast, anoint your head, wash your face so that you may not appear to be fasting except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon. Ash Wednesday. We need to be reminded of the three important things in life, especially now with COVID-19. According to Cardinal Newman, we have to remember three things. Life is short, death is certain, and eternity is long. Very profound issues that touch our lives. Madali nating makalimutan, dami nating pinagkakaabalahan. So the church in her wisdom, more than 2,000 years already, <clears throat> decided to remind us on Ash Wednesday. What is said by the priest or the helpers? Repent and believe in the gospel. Or remember that you are dust and to dust you shall return. Naghanap sana ako ng urn. Yung gamit na na-urn, yan sana pinapalagay ko dyan sa mga decorate eh, para talagang konkreto. Earn. Doon tayo pupunta. 
Puro mga urn na yung nakalagay dyan sa kolumbaryo sa Divine Word Garden. Excuse me. Dust thou art, to dust you shall return. So in the light of the three truths of life, that life is short, death is certain, eternity is long. How do we get there to eternity? Not the eternal punishment, but eternal joy, the gospel says to us today. Acts of piety from the Old Testament. Almsgiving, prayer, and fasting. Okay. Daming gumagawa ngayon yan. Fasting. Nagkikito. O kaya intermittent fasting. Daming mga network sa Facebook niya. Para ano? Para maging balingkinitan uli ang katawan. So iba ang ibig sabihin ng ating pananampalataya. So hindi ka nagpa-fasting para kukumpare mo yung before, saka after, payat ka na, papalakpakan ka, daming nagla-like sa iyo sa Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and WhatsApp, ilalagay mo doon. Eh, hindi, yan ang gustong sabihin ng Panginoon. <clears throat> Marami na rin nagmeditate eh. Close doors, yoga naman. Kasi, ang ganda ng pakiramdam mo raw, bababa yung blood pressure mo. At, may scientific proof yan. Maganda rin yan. Kasi, stress na tayo ngayon eh. eh hindi yan ang ibig sabihin ng simbahan. Almsgiving, <clears throat> relief daming nagbibigay diyan kalagay ba doon donated by counselor Eustachio di Mataga kung ano man ang pangalan niya dahil naghahala nagpapahalal na yan sa next chire eh, na tatakbo siya eh, parang ganyan eh hindi din yan ang sabi ng ating simbahan ay ito babalikan natin kasi itong acts of piety na almsgiving prayer and fasting sa Old Testament pa yan. Ngayon, ano ang piety? <clears throat> sa atin kaya, makadyos. Yung lagi sa simbahan, hindi yan payos. Minsan, sila pa yung pinakatsismosa sa lahat eh. Acts of piety. Di kayo sine sa Greek. Dito sa Matthew, yan ang original language. Pag-aralan natin ngayon, para hindi natin ipapataw yung sarili nating kahulugan. Yung iba kasi, galing-galing sa Bible, yung sarili nilang kahulugan ang nilalagay. Kung anong kahulugan, yun na sasabihin. Balik tayo sa Old Testament. Acts of piety. Piety, di, di kayo sine. Sa Hebrew, mas malalim. Ang piety sa Hebrew, tzidakah. Righteousness pagiging matuwid. At sa gamit ni na Amos, yung mga later prophets, yung tzedaka, laging kaakibat ng mispat. Mispat in Hebrew is justice. So yan ang, yan ang bigay ninyong pakahulugan, hindi yan kung saan-saan. Nagaling sa yoga, tsaka sa South Beach Diet o kung saan-saan pa'y nangunguha. Ito ang kahulugan. You perform acts of piety. That means acts of righteousness and justice. <clears throat> Halimbawa, sa Old Testament, nag a giving ka. Atonement yan. Kasi pati na nung Old Testament, may social injustice. A lot of people were poor and there were a few who were very rich. Parang sa atin ngayon. Kaya, pagbigay mo sa poor, dapat ikaw pang magpasalamat sa kanya that you are able to atone for the social injustice. We are also repenting of the sin- sins of our society where a lot of people go hungry at yung iba nagkikito dahil 300 pounds na ang kanilang weight. Righteousness, justice. Kaya, yung magiging makadyos, mga makadyos na gawa, acts of piety, yan ang ibig sabihin. Dapat matuwid ka. 
o kung hindi ka matuwid, lahi, wala namang matuwid na perfect sa atin, para magiging taong matuwid ka. So that you will become a righteous person na gumagawa ng mga gawaing makatarungan. Kaya kahit ilang milyon pa yan, in arms giving mo, bilyon naman ang hina, ninakaw mo, bali wala yan. You will not receive your reward. Pag nagpa-fasting ka, sabi dito, tapos gusto mo lang palak, mapalakpakan ka ng mga tao, pag-post mo sa TikTok, 5,000 likes, at saka 872 shares, maligaya ka na niyan. That's not what we are supposed today and for the next next 40 days. Sabi ni St. Paul, namatay si Jesus so that we might become the righteousness of God in Him. So if we are not righteous, we perform acts of piety para magiging taong matuwid tayo. At huwag kalimutan, hindi rin matuwid ang ating lipunan. Kailangan kumilos tayo, social transformation. Tinatawag ngayon yan na the great reset. Re-reformat mo ulit yung computer ng ating society dahil na virus ng injustice. So with fasting and weeping and mourning, rend your hearts, not your garments, yun ang panawagan ni Prophet Joel sa first reading. So, siguruhin natin na pag nag giving tayo, pag nagdasal tayo, nananalangin tayo, pag nag-aayuno tayo, so that we will become righteous, so that our society will become righteous, matuwid. Sinasabi din natin, dapat tanggalin natin yung hindi makatarungan sa ating kilos, pamumuhay, gawa natin ng paraan para yung hindi makatarungan sa ating lipunan, sa ating bansa, sa buong mundo, mababawasan. Yan yan sana. Kaya naka-earn yung ilalagay sa inyo na para mapaliwanag yan. Kaya sabi ni Pope Francis, sa halip na huwag kang kumain, okay din yan. Pero you should fast para sa akin, babaguhin ko ng kaunti yung kay Pope. What makes us unrighteous are the seven capital sins. Now, diyan ka mag-fast. You fast from pride so that you will become humble. You fast from avarice so that you will become generous. You fast from lust so that you will become chaste and pure. You fast from sloth so that you will become diligent. You fast from gluttony. Lalo na ngayon, ang sarap kumain dahil wala ka namang ginagawa. You fast from the seven capital sins. So during the time of Holy Week, for the 40 days, i-download ninyo yung ano, margaling naman kayo sa Google search, seven capital sins. Tapos pag nilayan ninyo, examine your conscience kung paano ba magiging konkreto ang inyong fasting ngayong Holy Week starting this as Wednesday. You fast from the seven capital sins because yan ang ugat ng ating hindi pagiging matuwid. We become unrighteous persons because of our sins. And that's why today we repent. That's why today we believe in the gospel. That's why today we remember that we are dust and to dust we shall return.
Please stand for the blessing of the ashes. My dear sisters and brothers, let us humbly ask God our Father that He be pleased to bless with the abundance of His grace these ashes which we will put on our heads in penitence and repentance. O God, who are moved by acts of humility and respond with forgiveness to works of penance, lend your merciful ear to our prayers and in your kindness pour out the grace of your blessing on your servants who will be sprinkled with ashes on their heads that as they follow the Lenten observances and do acts of piety Chidaka and Mispat, they may be worthy to come with minds and hearts made pure to celebrate the Paschal mystery of your Son who triumphed against sin and the darkness of death. Prayers be faithful. My sisters and brothers, let us pray to our Heavenly Father that we may open our hearts to the kingdom of His Son, stay close with Him in prayer, and be active in works of charity. Let our response be, Lord, listen to our prayer. Lord, listen to our prayer. That the Pope, bishops, priests, and deacons may welcome Lent as an acceptable time of renewal through their sincere works of fasting, prayer, and almsgiving. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. That government officials may be led to inner conversion and reject all kinds of abuses which degrade the dignity of the human person. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. That the mark of ashes on our forehead may remind us of our human frailty and move us to spend the gift of our life for the building of God's kingdom in humility and loving service to our brothers and sisters. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. <clears throat> that those who consecrate their lives to God continue to respond in the joyful living of, of perfect chastity, poverty, and obedience as a witness to the power of God's love manifested in the weakness of the human condition. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. That the Lord Jesus may take into paradise our departed brothers and sisters, and at the end of our own journey, Welcome us to that same place He has prepared for us in the Father's kingdom. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. 
Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. Almighty Father, hear our petitions. May this season of repentance bring us your forgiveness, lead us to the joy of Christ's victory over sin and death. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Alay na ito ang tinapay na nagmula sa pagpapala mo At tanggapin ang alak na ito, inuming inihain sa iyo Mahal namin Diyos, inyong tanggapin Ang munting alay mula sa amin Buong puso namin Hihintayin pagpapala na amin Hiling Aming hatid alay na ito Napay na nagmula sa pagpapala mo At tanggapin ang alak na ito Inuming inihain sa iyo Mahal namin Diyos, inyong tanggapin Ang mundo Alay mula sa amin Pray, my sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we solemnly offer the annual sacrifice for the beginning of Lent, we entreat you, O Lord, that through works of penance and charity, we may turn away from harmful pleasures and cleanse from our sins, may become worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, a duty, now salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim.
We will pray special Eucharistic prayer number one, reconciliation. You are indeed holy, O Lord, from the world's beginning, are ceaselessly at work so that the human race may become holy just as you yourself as holy. Though we once we lost, could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love for your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms are outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate Passover with his disciples. And so we pray, look upon your people's offerings, pour out on them the power of your spirit that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom we too have become your sons and daughters. As he ate with them at the last meal, Jesus took bread and giving you thanks, Father, he said the blessing. He broke the bread. He gave it to them saying, take this, all of you, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, Jesus took the chalice, filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, Father, he handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and recons his death and resurrection from the dead, looking forward to his blessed coming. We offer you, most compassionate Father, who are our faithful and merciful God, the sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the whole human race. Look kindly on those who unite to yourself with the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis of Pope, Ernesto of Bishop, Help us to work together for your kingdom of peace and justice until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, health of the sick, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then, free at last from the wound of corruption 
and made fully into a new creation. We shall sing to you with gladness, thanksgiving of Christ who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us, pray to God. Let us pray to God, our merciful Father, that He forgives us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. In the prayer, His Son, Jesus, the Divine Word, made flesh Himself, taught us. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Jesus, word of love, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the divine word who took on human form so that he could save us from our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Happy are those who accept this invitation to eat at his table. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Reminder, Holy Communion will be done by Rose. Kindly wait for the ushers to guide you accordingly. Act of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received sustain us, O Lord, that our Lenten fast may be pleasing to you and be for us a healing remedy to Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for having, for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other 
see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Saint Joseph, Saint Raphael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calungsod, Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Renadamins. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down your heads and pray for God's blessing. Pour out the spirit of compunction and repentance, O God, and those who bow before your majesty, and by your mercy, may they merit the rewards you promise to those who do penance and acts of piety. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty and loving God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the divine word made flesh by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you.